too. Yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> and Hyrule Gambit reminds us once again that Taste Dosis will be casting Effort versus Zero <laughs> in 12 hours. All right, at the bottom left is the Blue Protoss. We will have the Sakwe. And at the top left as the Peach Terran, we will have Cryok. All right. Okay, so in a way, uh, this map actually would, if, if Cryok wanted to go for a, not for the same kind of build because you don't get the third gas here, like in, in the in the minerals line, so you wouldn't get that one. But if you want to go a vulture heavy with a few tanks build, you could technically pull it off by rel relatively easily taking three bases. Hmm. That is that is actually very true. I mean, I love seeing mass vulture builds. Oh my god, back in the days of Beamface doing that. Oh I don't man. Know who remembers Beamface? Anyone here remember Beamface? That guy was the man. I don't know what happened to him, but he's pretty cool. Dude, dude, don't talk to me about mass vulture builds, okay? I lost once with three bases going dragoons against one base pure vulture. Okay? Just <laughs> it, it, I hate that. I hate oh that. Oh my god. What? Okay. It's like, it's Dude, a long time ago. <laughs> were you doing like two gate double expand with no obs? Is that why you lost? No, no, the problem was not like that. It was because the guy would pl was playing on... He, he made a wall, like he was trying to make an, um, a natural. Uh -huh. But he actually went... Uh, he spent all the gas purely on factories, and he was starting to pump up constantly vultures. Just with speed, no mines. <laughs> and Wait, every time, no mines? No mines. And every time he attacked me, I had like, maybe at the beginning, I had like maybe four dragoons, and suddenly ten vultures come out. And like, what? They just aim at the Dragoons, and you lose because you don't have enough firepower to kill them fast enough. <laughs> I was starting to make pylon walls to survive, and even that wouldn't cut it. Oh so, my god. Yeah, I was like, it was a friend of mine who was like really, really good. It was a A plus at least. <laughs> I really hated him <laughs> because he did this crazy stuff. Dude, I can't believe you lost without mines. You could have at least pretended, be like, no, no, he had like mines and and Vulture Speed, and like Vulture Damage Upgrade, and Vulture Siege <laughs> Mode. Like, that's why I lost, man. Those Vultures were in Siege Mode, it wasn't fair. But, no. No, P just had Speed. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you lose games like that, sometimes you win games like that. <laughs> fair enough, man, fair enough. Anyway, looks like we got the pretty standard ball here for Medusa. Nothing crazy coming out of either player just yet. The Probe Scout's gonna be correct, the SCV Scout. Unfortunately not. Unfortunately for Cryok, that is. Yeah. And Cryok is already putting a depot at the back. Okay, that's kind of poor information. I did like bounded play location a little bit more, like a little bit lower to see possible, you know, for later, possible uh, recalls and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, definitely, definitely a good move there. Um, it's, does that mean that he's not going to take this mineral only for a while, though? Does that, is that also what that means? Or is that just, you know, because he can make it there? I think it's basically for something like a river drop. I mean, apart from that, I wouldn't see much of a reason to put it really early, and especially at that position. Right, right. That, that makes sense to me. And we're going to see two-fact, though, so ignoring all that, the nice. two-fact is coming out and still no two gateway builds it looks like there's going to be a gateway expand here from uh from the sockway again i'm surprised we haven't seen any uh two gateway versus versus darren on this map it's still good I, I mean as you mentioned like in game number one if he's really confident in this matchup maybe not too much of a reason to try to do something that can potentially be bad for him right hmm yeah i guess i mean if you go power gun like to like two gate power gun and not 1015 like it's not all in because you keep making probes yeah but i mean i guess it's fine what he's doing it's gonna come down to his micro now i think Ooh, we're actually gonna have uh the second machine shop now oh is this is this gundam are we gonna have three tanks basically gundam means if you or sorry not gundam uh joyo joyo that's the one joyo <laughs> it's joyo right it's where you build the second factory at 70 percent of uh of the first factory and then your machine shop will finish at the same time as your first tank. So you get three tanks out really, really fast, and then you spam vultures. And you can get both vulture upgrades uh, at the same time. I'm pretty sure it's Jojo. I'm not really sure what, what player actually used to do that. I do know that I've seen a, kind of a different style of this, which is basically you make like five tanks. 
And the yeah. way you do it is you hide the, the I, I guess, the, ne the next tanks, so that they, Protoss doesn't really know about that, and suddenly they have too few goons to really be able to stop it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's all kinds of two-fact variations here. Um, and yeah, even, even with a drop, like... And he's gonna be fa Is this DT drop? Oh my... That's what this is, right? That's, like, it's expansion into DT drop. Oh Whoa. my god, he's gonna have no units to defend this. But if he can yeah. get, like, one Dark Templar out, and somehow dodge all the mines, he might live. It's gonna be almost impossible to dodge all the mines out. And now he knows what's going on. But there's nothing he can yeah. do, he just needs to wait for the DTs. Yeah, and at the same time, there's another problem, and that's the fact that even if you do get the DTs, the Vultures can still run around and kill probes, so... Oh god. Oh god, oh. here it comes. Is he gonna wall himself with pylons? I think that might actually be a good move. Yeah, I think so too. He can buy time for the DTs and stop the Vultures from killing all those probes. But he does, does have to actually completely mine and uh, block it, right? Not just leave a small gap, because if you, even if you leave a small gap... Okay, there he goes. There's a lot of pylons in oh the Oh my front. god. <laughs> the insane pylon wall, holy moly. Alright, he's gonna do some micro. He's abusing the wall, the tanks are shooting the pylons, that's good. DT should be building now. Let me click the gateways. DT, first DT is almost out. The mines though are being laid. I think he needs to just abandon this Nexus. He should yeah. just pull the probes back. I don't think there was a need to lose the probes there. Oh, and speed vultures. And the problem is when you go to TZ, you're not gonna have the Dragoons. If he loses those two Dragoons, then he, he can't really catch the vultures. Oh man, this is, this is sad times. He is getting an observatory now, but I think it might be late because the eBay is already done. So Terran can now make turrets and he's already brought the SCV forward here, yeah. I think it's just a bit unfortunate in the build choice that he went for the DT drop. Obviously it's so resource heavy, you have almost no units to stop this. Well, to be fair, after the first game, I wouldn't really blame him for it, because in the first game, he really got away with that, right? He, he was going for a lot of things at the same time, not really that heavy on the units, yeah. and it did work. So maybe he was kind of trying to do the same thing here, but obviously Cryo changed the style a little bit, and that probably cat caught the sack of guard. He's still going for a shuttle for some reason. I mean, is he gonna, is he gonna like, counter with one DT and keep the other DT at home? I, probably, I mean, he has to because at this point he cannot really just stay here, right? If he, he doesn't do counter damage, there is no way that he can win the game. We, we've already seen this before today. Yeah, that's true, and he is in fact going to do exactly that. The single DT on the offense. Oh man, losing one goon for free though, because siege mode is done, and there are turrets up now. There is a turret up in the turret main. Oh, and there yeah. are the tanks. And the, I was eBay, say. and the eBay sees it, sees the, the shuttle coming in. So if uh, Krak actually saw it and reacts fast enough. See, so yeah, you're right, there's also tanks there, so... Yep, <laughs> this is like what he sees it. I think it's just a matter of time before the GG comes in. Looks like, wow, Vulture's even in the back of the main here. Uh, well, it's alright, he killed the Supply Depot. So we're fine. I don't know what he's waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sakwe. It's all right, man. You're up 1-0. Let's go to game well, three. I'm, I'm guessing maybe the Sakura was thinking about, okay, what will I do in game number three, right? Because it's a lot easier to, at this point, okay, just, you know, take your hands off the keyboard and start thinking, okay, what I can do in the next game, you know, trying to fog think about that a little bit. And I think, look, it, the shuttle is actually still, like, looking around. <laughs> I'm not sure that's actually to try to win this game, but basically to see what the opponent has to say, okay, that's what he had. But, I mean... I'd be surprised if the Sakwa thought that at this point he can still take it. GG! Looks like he knows it's over. GG! And well, it's a quick 1-1 one, one now. Yep. Good stuff from Cryot, going for the 2-fact. Definitely think that's the right move. Um, let's see, last game, oh man, Heartbreak Ridge. We can see a yeah. factory float on Heartbreak Ridge too. Oh, this map pool is amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely a lot of positions, uh, sorry, a, a lot of maps in this, in this, uh, ah, I'm drawing a blank, <laughs> in this championship where we can actually see, you know, a lot of crazy stuff, so, it's always good. Uh-oh, Cat's Paw, the hacker, booted from the game. <laughs> what? What, dude, I got, hold on, wait, 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 let me show, let me show the stream. Warning, anti-hack system, oh wait, you guys can see it.
wait, 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 wait. I don't have anti-hack? Warning, anti-hack system has detected a memory modification. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Got him. Got okay. him. <laughs> That's curious. I, I, I didn't know, though, that when you have anti-hack, and you do, you know, because it says that I have it, right? Yeah. So I have anti-hack, but at the same time it says that you have a memory something? Well, That's dude, weird. anti-hack just detects if you're the hacker, right? So, or is ah. it? So, okay. Like, if okay. you're the hacker, you get dropped. If you have anti-hack, is that how? I don't, I don't know. know, man. Whatever it is. <laughs> I am not too informed in that kind of stuff. On I have no list. idea, dude. I'm not even using anti-hack. See, I'm one of the cool kids. <laughs> too cool for anti-hack. I'm like a I'm like a guy who like you know doesn't wear his seatbelt when he's in the car. You know, no anti-hack playing Brood War. It's roughly as dangerous. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Kids, wear your seatbelts. And even if you're not kids, do it as well. <laughs> Adults definitely wear your seatbelts. Because even even if everything is going right, if a cop sees you, you're gonna get a ticket. So. <laughs> fair enough. It's fair enough. All right. So third game, and this will be the last game of today's cast. Hopefully a good one. I mean, PVT on Heartbreak Ridge. Let's get into the game. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> 